Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be taking a look at what I think is the best way to learn rigging for animation with Blender 2.8. The latest major version of Blender hasn't been out for long, which means there's a lack of resources available when it comes to professional in-depth educational content about rigging. In a previous video of mine called The Best Way to Learn Blender 2.8, I reviewed some of my favourite sources of beginner content, both free and paid, and compiled a guide for newcomers of what I thought was the best way to learn Blender 2.8. This time, instead of looking at general beginner content for the software, I will be looking specifically for the best way to learn rigging for animation. We will take a look at both free and paid educational content available, as well as a useful tool that could help to speed up your rigging workflow. And then towards the end of the video, I will share what I think is the best way to learn rigging with the currently available material. First of all, if you're completely new, I would always suggest taking a look at the Blender Fundamentals playlist on the official YouTube channel. It contains a few videos that will be invaluable to someone who is not only new to the software, but also to the terms related to rigging. Here are a selection of the fundamentals videos that are relevant towards the subject. Rigging intro, character rigging, inverse kinematics, and armature. These videos can act as a useful reference to replace the traditional documentation. Following from this, Grant Abbott is quite well known for having a wealth of accessible beginner content. Relevant to rigging, they have a playlist called The Complete Beginner's Guide to Animation in Blender 2.8. This is a much more practical introduction for beginners that not only introduces the basic concepts, but also gives some insights on the possibility of creating more complex control rigs for characters. This is quite nice to see, because knowing how to create control systems for traditional armatures is a key part of professional rigging, and not many people talk about this when doing beginner tutorials. To top this off, in part 5 of his series he even discusses face rigs, which is again something that not many people talk about when doing beginner content. So I think overall, this is quite a high quality course for being freely available on YouTube. One thing it doesn't really talk about are things like good practices for building animal rigs, but that's quite a specialised area of rigging that I wouldn't expect to be in a general beginners course. Now we move on to CG Geek, who has done a video for 2.8 called Rig Any Character for Animation in 10 Minutes. Like almost all the other rigging tutorials, it's based around getting a humanoid model rigged for animation, but I was impressed by the amount of detail they went into when discussing bone constraints for inverse kinematics. They also briefly discussed the bendy bones feature in Blender, which is a way of replacing long bones with smaller segments to get more organic bending of the mesh. This is great for things like spinal cords. To top this off, they also show you the appropriate way to symmetrize the armature data, and which parameters and the constraints to adjust to make sure that both sides are working as intended. When it's all set up, they quickly demonstrate how to pose the newly rigged character, and all of this is fit into a video that's under 14 minutes, which is impressive. Given the amount of information packed into the video, I would say this is definitely an essential video to watch if you're new to rigging with Blender. But one thing this video doesn't do is provide a demonstration of how to rig fingers, but this can be a very tedious process, and any educator could run the risk of frustrating the viewer if it's not explained properly. But this is where we come on to Alimeo Arango, who goes into a lot of detail with character rigging, including the creation of finger bones, in his video Blender 2.8 Character Rigging Step by Step. There is quite a lot of information in this video, and he even provides some good demonstrations of how to do weight painting for bones. However, the video is two hours long, so it's not necessarily the best choice for people with low attention spans. But if you've got time to sit down and study the process, this video has a lot of value to give. Now we come to Stephen Scott, who instead of making all-in-one beginner videos, has instead made short videos that are focused on specific elements of the process, such as subdividing armatures, symmetrizing bones, splitting bones in an animation, and the bendy bones features. I think this kind of format makes his channel good as a source of reference content to accompany the fundamental series or official documentation while making things. But now that we've seen some of the free content available for 2.8, let's take a look at the paid content that's available. Of course, since 2.8 hasn't been out for long, there's not a lot of paid content about rigging for the newest version of the software, but there is one course that came out recently that I would like to share with you. It's a course made by Pierrick called The Art of Effective Rigging in Blender. He also happens to have a YouTube channel. I think it's not only the highest quality paid course available, but also the best rigging course made for Blender so far. The main reason I think this is because it covers everything that was mentioned in the free courses, but then takes it further by demonstrating in detail how to build professional and complex control mechanisms for rigs, in regards to both traditional armatures for characters as well as face rigs. Along the way, Pierrick goes above and beyond in taking the time to explain important concepts with unique demonstrations. Strictly speaking, there's a level of effort here that I haven't seen in a previous rigging tutorial for 2.8, let alone Blender in general. There is a total of just under 11 hours of footage, and most of the videos are kept around or under the 10 minute mark to keep them bite sized and easy to watch. One thing to note is that Pierrick does have a strong accent while narrating the videos, but for anyone that has trouble understanding them, they have been kind enough to include subtitle files in the package to make the content as accessible as possible. Chapter 1 covers the foundations of rigging and talks about the basic tools and processes used. 
Chapter 2 is a must watch because it guides you through building the first complex rig for a character. Everything here is shown in a step by step manner, and all parameters of the rig and associated constraints are well explained so you know exactly what everything does. Chapter 3 shows how to build an even more complex setup based on the character rig in the previous chapter. This includes building secondary controllers and mechanisms that allow for advanced manipulation of the rig. This is something that I haven't seen explained in good detail in freely available content so far. Chapter 4 shifts the focus to face rigs, whether constructed from bones or built from shape keys. As you can see from the footage, these are very well made setups for giving control. In Chapter 5, everything learned so far is used to compose the fully integrated rig for the Crimson Ronin character, making it ready for animation. This character was made in a previous course from Pierrick called 3D PBR Character Creation for Games. This chapter will also include some time-lapse content so you don't have to listen to the things you've already learned in previous chapters. Finally, in Chapter 6, he goes over some information that wasn't discussed during the course, including specific tips for things like how to rig tongues and tails, how to adapt your rig for other characters, how bendy bones work, as well as lattices and vertex parenting. So all in all, this is a very comprehensive course built specifically for Blender 2.8, which is currently available for $49. You can get a hold of it on Gumroad, and if you use my affiliate link in the description, you will also be helping to support this channel. But moving on from educational material, there is a paid tool currently available for Blender 2.79 and 2.8 to help speed up the rigging process that a lot of you might already know about. It's called AutoRig Pro, and it's available on the Blender market for $40, with a light version for just under $20. It has a range of features, including a smart rigging system that's comparable to Mixamo's auto-rigging tool. It lets you drag and drop points over the mesh, and the system will automatically try to create a rig for your character for you. It also contains useful tools for remapping, game engine exporting, and facial rigging. Tools like this should not replace a solid understanding of how to create rigs manually, but it can definitely be helpful in speeding up your workflow. So to recap what we've talked about in this video, I'm going to show you my recommended path for learning about rigging with Blender 2.8 using material that's currently available. First of all, if you're brand new to Blender, I recommend watching my video about the best way to learn Blender 2.8. This will give you a direction that will quickly bring you to a proficient level with the software. But for learning rigging, my path would be the following. Start with the fundamentals on the official YouTube channel. Keep the documentation and reference style videos to the side for when you need them. Examples of this would be videos from Stephen Scott. Then watch beginner content that is intended to act as an all-in-one guide, and do what you can to follow along because you will retain more information if you are practicing alongside the content. Good candidates for this type of content would be the Grant Abbott series or CG Geeks video. Following on from this, you have a choice to dive deeper into professional techniques and setups by studying more in-depth content, such as Animeo's videos, or, if you have money to spare, Pierrick's new all-encompassing rigging course for Blender 2.8. As I said in my previous video about learning Blender, it's always beneficial to learn from as many educators as possible, because you may resonate more with the personality of one than the others, and certain educators will bring new mindsets to the table that others might not have considered. Now this simplified plan is only regarding 2.8 specific content, but of course there's a wealth of material available for rigging using previous versions of Blender. This older content still has a lot of value to provide, and I would definitely suggest exploring some of it. However, if you are new to 3D artwork or Blender, I suggest waiting until you have a solid grasp of the 2.8 interface and where to find all of the functionality relevant to rigging before you explore outdated educational content. The reason for this is to prevent frustration. Overall, whether you're interested in rigging for video games, animated shorts, or anything else, these resources should help you on your way. If you follow along with any of these videos, make sure to show the creators what you make, because I'm sure they'd love to see it. So that about covers it for this video. Everything said in this video, along with all the relevant links, can be found in the associated blog post on my website. Links to everything can be found in the description. So if you found this video useful, be sure to subscribe and follow me on social media so you don't miss out on future content. You can also join our Discord server to take part in discussions and share your work. So thanks for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you next time.